even better. This is the tutorial on how to make a, a walking system. You can now, so you need a gearbox, some super glue, a power source of your choice. I like to use the creative motor because it's really small, a sequence gear shift, and an activation choice. Then you get a link controller and a, red, a redstone link. Yes. Then, I'll, then you can get a block of your choice. It would, it's really cool if you use magma when you have like shaders on. Then you have a sequence gear shift there. You create a motor there. You need a mechanical bearing. Then you place a mechanical bearing like that. And then, then, then you get a linear chassis or a, second, or a secondary chassis. Make something like this. You can make this. This however long you like. It's good if you do it like this, it's fine. You can make this float as well. This is good for like mechs and stuff. Like that one over there, which is a lost cause. But hey, I copied it. So it's not a lost cause, it's a saved cause. That I thought was lost. Then you add the sequence gear shift there. You get the creative motor. You get your activation choice. You're going to need a wrench. Just remove that. For those. So put that at frequency one. Put that at frequency two Ooh, and magma block in the first one and magma block in both of them. And then you bind this to A and you bind this to D. Now it may not work when you try it. So you glue these these stubs together. You glue the mechanical bearing. First one to the then you do this mechanical bearing to the chassis. And if it looks like that, you need to set it at 180 for both of them. Then you press that. And the one that goes like And the one that goes like that you have to set it to input speed reversed. So A, D, A, D. And then you can get like a block of your choice. Quartz, quartz, get that. Then you can make little platter you can get a seat do that do that do that and do that do that together glue the seat to glue your pad and you're off Did I mention that this thing can float? Well, that's it.